What are you doing for a soil test program on your farm? Hey, this is a really big issue as we go forward. We gotta pay attention to every last dollar we're investing on the farm. And you know what? I don't mind spending more dollars on the farm as long as it's an investment. Is it going to pay to put more nitrogen on, more phosphorus, more potassium, more sulfur, or boron, or whatever it is? Well, how are you gonna know unless you find out what your soil's got? You know, the biggest two expenses on most farms are cash rent and fertilizer. And when you think about it, the soil testing program helps you manage both. I've talked to a number of farmers over the last couple of years here as the economics have changed in farming that have said, you know, I gave up certain pieces of rented ground where I wasn't making any money. And I said, well, how did you determine which pieces of ground you were going to give up? Were they the furthest ones away from your farm or what else did you look at? And they said, well, the big thing was fertility. When we looked at what the fertility was and what I was gonna to need to put on those certain fields to bring them up to par with everything else, they just weren't gonna cut it. There's no way I was gonna make money on that ground. So I'm gonna let somebody else rent that out and lose money on it. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep the good ground where I don't have to apply all that extra fertilizer to make up for deficiencies in the past. And on that ground, I can make more money. Well, by the same token, even on ground that you own, you can certainly manage your investments much better if you understand that fertility. And so what I'm talking about here is either grid sampling or a managed zone sampling program to look at different areas of the field so you can fertilize them accordingly. Knowing this has been a big challenge for farmers across the country, last year we developed the Ag PhD soil test app and what it allows you to do is use your smartphone to go out to grid points and pull soil samples. Now it's super simple and easy and you can pull these samples by hand. And don't think, oh I have to have some mechanized way to pull samples. You know what, most crop scouts in the country are just pulling samples by hand. It's very quick and easy. You can sample even up to a thousand acres a day on five acre grids. It's not that tough. The other thing you're going to want to do with this Ag PhD soil test app is set up your fields. Real simple to do. You can do that yet this summer so you're ready to go come fall. And that's the reason why we're talking about this today because you want to get all ready to go. Have your, your probe, have your fields all mapped out, decide which fields you're going to sample. So once harvest rolls around, you're probably going to have only a handful of days where you say, you know what, I'm going to take today or I'm going to send my kids out today. We're going to get samples on all these fields so I can have the results later in the week and then I can tell my fertilizer dealer this is what we want to use for the fertilizer program. The reason why we developed this is we want to put you in control of things because just think about this for a second. The odds are extremely high if you're farming any amount of acres anymore over your lifetime of farming you're going to be spending in the millions of dollars in fertilizer. So if you're going to spend millions of dollars in anything shouldn't you be the one who's in control of that? We want you to pull the tests, you to get the results and you'll get our recommendations and Midwest Labs recommendations, but the point is you've got all this data yourself. So nobody else is in control of it. You know it, you're going to learn it, and you'll then be able to make your own fertilizer recommendations or at least contribute. So hopefully you best invest your dollars compared to in the past where you might just say, well, I, Mr. Fertilizer Dealer, you just decide what I'm going to put on. Well, do they really know? Are they doing exactly what you need on every acre? I don't know. Maybe they are. But in a lot of cases, what we find is Fertility programs today are inadequate and there's a better way to invest those dollars to make more money. I'll give you one example of that. Many of the soil tests that Brian and I have looked at across the country, and we look at soil tests every week of the year we get soil tests sent to us from somewhere in the country on some different crop. And we're looking at many of these tests, I would say at least half of them, if not more, are incomplete tests. They don't even have micronutrients, for example, on the test. And we follow up with the farmer and say, hey, we don't even have micronutrients on here. You know, where are those levels at? And most guys say, I've never tested for them. And doesn't that cost a whole bunch more? Really, it doesn't. Soil samples are not that tremendously expensive. And to get a complete test, you're going to spend $25 or $30. That's it for everything that we would need for information to make a great recommendation for your farm or that you would need to make your own recommendation for your farm. So as we get guys into taking complete tests, many people are alarmed that, wow, you know what? I'm actually sitting pretty good on phosphorus and potassium compared to how I am on some of these micro nutrients or sulfur and wow if I just invest some dollars over here instead of where I would normally be putting it that may be a little bit wasteful if I already have plenty of those nutrients I'm getting more yield and I'm investing less money it's a pretty fantastic deal so when we're looking at better surveying your fields not just pulling one sample per hundred acres or 500 acres or whatever pulling samples all over throughout the field and then looking at a complete 
sample so we can see all the different nutrients that our crops need and which ones may give us the best return on investment. That's a much better way to manage your program to maximize your profitability. So we developed this free app that you can use last year. Again, it's the Ag PhD Soil Test app. You can download that for your smartphone or your tablet. We just think it's important to continue putting out good information for you. Hopefully we're meeting your needs both with our TV show and our radio show, but then also some of these different apps that we've put together. And our main goal is for you to hopefully produce more crop, make more money, and then do a good job with the environment. And this definitely fits in all those categories if you have the right fertility program. Uh, one last thing, Brian encourages hey, let's do this right now. And I totally agree with that. Start right now setting up those fields and getting everything set. So when it is time to sample, you can just roll. Because what happens many times is, hey, there's a deal on fertilizer in July or in August and your dealer wants you to prepay and pre-book things and you just go ahead and do it. And you say, you know what? I did this program last year. The economics have changed a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna do 90% of what I did last year because I don't think I can afford it. Or, hey, I'm really shooting for high yields. We've gotten some rain or, or whatever in our area. So let's go 100 110% what I did last year, that's not the right thing for you. You need to take a look each year and see, hey, what's out in the soil? How can I tweak that to maximize yield this year? And hey, let's be honest. I mean, these fertilizer companies aren't going to dramatically take fertilizer prices up unless commodity prices go way up. But if commodity prices stay where they're at today or go down, you're going to see fertilizer continuing to at least stay flat, if not drop, over the next several months or even next couple of years. So there's no huge rush this year to buy fertilizer again unless commodity prices would go up. Well, one thing you may get excited excited about doing right away is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.